Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, many of you have commented here on the uh, channel and although um, it should not have affected the systems, um, some of you have noticed that it did and a lot of people are complaining. So August past Tuesday fixed one of the um, bootloaders, Grub2, that has to do with Linux distros. And what happens is that this update should not technically affect uh, regular users that dual boot between Windows and Linux. But it does seem that uh, many are complaining that after they installed the Patch Tuesday updates for August, their Linux distro, well, just didn't boot anymore. Uh, and a lot of different distros like uh, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Zorin OS, and so on. Um, Microsoft has to confirm because what they did with the update is that it was not supposed to impact regular distros that dual boot on on most PCs. And um, it finally seems that it does. Um, what they're saying is that the only way around it from some of the sources that uh, fixed it say that you have to um, disable the um, secure boot, reinstall your favorite distro, then after that re-enable secure boot and it works. But um, it really seems that it impacts a lot of people that should not be. Microsoft has not acknowledged anything yet with the dual boot um, with Linux distros uh, like it has not yet talked about any of the other problems that some people are having, including the uh, slowdown, these 100% CPU usage, and so on. So we're going to wait. Uh, Microsoft will eventually wake up and say something, I would guess. But it seems that it impacts a lot of users that dual boot between Windows and Linux uh, on their PCs. So um, if, if we get any more information or anything else, we'll talk about it. Um, Microsoft had acknowledged that a certain number of um, special Linux distros that use Grub2 um, were or could have been impacted, but it was not supposed to be everybody. It was supposed to be really just a specific um, set of users. So we'll see what's up next. But I've noticed that there's a lot of uh, comments on the channel since we talked about the update for August that seem to mention they do have issues um, being unable to boot again into their Linux distros in a dual boot system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.